Yay, congratulations for making it to level three. You're almost there. It's now just about putting it all together. So there's not a lot to these notes. It's pretty much you doing it on your own and then checking in with a teacher. But I just want to give you a few tips and tricks, a few reminders, uh, and tell you where to look for a few things. So back in level one, I know it seems like a long time ago since we've looked there, we talked about reading a table, which were some of these questions where you had to complete the table and then answer a few questions about it. So really pay attention, make sure your table's set up correctly before you move on to those questions. So you could always check your table with a friend who's maybe at the same spot as you. You could do a quick double check with um, a teacher just to make sure that table's ready to go before you answer those questions. That's super important. And in order to do that, remember you go back to your original ratio to fill in those blanks in the table. So good luck with that part. If you need to go back and look at your notes from section one, I believe it was 1C to help you out with that, or go back and look at that video again to remind yourself how to do some of these problems. But if you don't need that, great, move forward and answer those questions. Then in 2E, we talked about interpreting a table, or really tables at this point, and we had Jenna and Maria and texting. We've got a similar situation with Chris and Andy now. They're also texting. They've got some different numbers going on. And remember we talked about there were lots of different ways to look at um, the tables. There were different options you could use to help explain who texted more or less or whatever it was asking. Um, you could use different ways to compare those, so that's what you're going to do this time. And again, you only have to pick one. So do whatever makes sense in your brain. If you want to use what's on the table already, if you want to kind of see what's happening um, when you compare the numbers for each person um, and find what we call that unit rate, which we'll talk more about later, but you can use that to help you if you want as well. So as long as you can answer the blank and explain it, then you are good to go. You will need a teacher signature on this when you're done, and then you'll get to move on to working on the pretest and kind of reflecting on your um, assessments before you take that final assessment of the test. So you got this. If you need any help, feel free to ask a friend, feel free to go back and look at notes, or ask a teacher for some help. You got it.